Good morning. We've been following a fire out of the Oak Forest neighborhood this morning. That is burning along Anne-Marie Lane. We have heard from police that a barricaded suspect is uh, believed to be inside of that home. So we're still waiting to get more information there. We do know that there are some road closures uh, in relation to that fire along Central Avenue from Independence. Oh. That is in relation to that fire. We do have a crew on the ground at the fire. We want to go live to WGN's Glenn Marshall. Glenn. Hey, good morning, Brona. Now we're here on 155th and Long, right across the street from St. Damien Catholic uh, School Church, I should say. It's about two or three blocks away from where that fire is happening right here. You'll see we have multiple fire trucks here. This is about as close as we can get to the scene. We did speak to a neighbor. I want to show you guys that chopper uh, video that we have from earlier. We did speak to a neighbor who lives in the cul-de-sac, and she told us she heard multiple gunshots. And one of the children from that home that's on fire came and knocked on her door, saying multiple family members of hers had been shot shot by a man. Um, in fact, that neighbor saw multiple people laying in the home's driveway as well as the street. She told me she didn't know their conditions. Oak Forest police are saying they did respond to a domestic situation on the 5500 block of Anne Marie Lane here. Right now, crews are working to put that fire out. The neighborhood, the neighbor, I should say, did tell us there was a younger child that was inside the home that was burning, but police were able to locate her as well as the child that knocked on that door again live. Back here again, you see those fire trucks back there as well. They're still blocked off in this area. They're still working to put that fire out. But again, multiple people were shot. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive more information on this throughout the morning. For now, we're live in Oak Forest on Glen Marshall, WGN News.